Hey, this is the car doctor coming to you with a quick tip for servicing fuel injection systems with the OTC pressurization tool or similar. Watch this quick video and I'm going to help keep you on the road. Servicing the fuel injection system on modern injected vehicles is a critical part of maintenance, ensuring longevity of service and fuel economy and so forth. Uh, it's a simple service in most cases, and uh, today I'm going to be working on an 08 Chevrolet product with a 6.0 liter uh, common uh, fuel injection system with a Vortec motor. And uh, it's uh, generally the same on most vehicles. Uh, sometimes disabling the fuel pump can be a little more tricky on other models in vehicles. Sometimes it may require disconnection at the tank of the electrical connector and so forth. Sometimes uh, doing this type of a service can set a code uh, caused by a disconnection of the fuel tank sender or, uh, or the electrical connector there which could affect the uh, fuel tank pressure sensor reading. Uh, and also a rough running condition uh, when you're running out of injector cleaner itself uh, may cause a misfire code to illuminate. So you may need the ability to clear codes, uh, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward re repair and maintenance procedure. We're gonna start with an overview of the uh, cleaner system. I'm using the OTC tool. The OTC 7448 fuel injector cleaner uses uh, an air pressure, shop air pressure. There's a regulated uh, pressure valve here and uh, a uh, male air hose coupler. And there's a gauge. There's also a shutoff valve here. Uh, and basically uh, you remove the top of the injector cleaner tool and fill the tool with uh, injector cleaner. I use uh, OTC brand. There's other brands available that'll work. There's some BG products that are also very effective. Um, I get this stuff for about 20 bucks a can. Should take about one can to do uh, injector service. And uh, simply removing the top of the tool and put the can of fluid in there and put it back on. And then you wanna make sure that your valve is open here. Uh, counterclockwise and then you'll want to attach the uh, pressure hose by using uh, whatever adapter in this case I have a 90 degree angle GM adapter that attaches to the fuel rail and once you've attached the tool and hung it from the hood support area uh, you want to start the vehicle first and measure the actual pressure and uh, the reason why is when you disable the fuel pump, you're going to want to run your tool at a regulated pressure slightly below the uh, actual working pressure of the system. Uh, and that is to prevent uh, an overpressurization with the tool, which will flush all your cleaner back into the tank past the uh, fuel pressure regulator. And you don't want to do that. You want to run it all through the fuel rails. It's not meant to be pushed back into the tank and run through the system. Uh, so once you've indicated the pressure that the vehicle is actually running at, uh, then you can shut the vehicle off and disable the fuel system. In this case, the fuel pump is fused separately. Fuse number 20 in the underhood junction block services the electric fuel pump. And by removing that fuse, you'll disable the pump and then once you've done that, go ahead and plug in your shop pressure and then bring the regulated pressure of your tool up. Uh, in this case, I'm bringing it to just above 50 PSI and then start the vehicle. And then you'll wanna run your cleaner through the tool uh, until the vehicle basically starts running rough, which in this case took about 10 minutes at the most. Uh, and then it's run that, uh, that fluid through there. And then you go ahead and shut things off and remove your tool and uh, be sure and re reinstall the, uh, the little cap on top of the uh, fuel pressure uh, service port on the injector rail and reinstall any of your uh, engine covers. In this case, there's a cover over the uh, manifold area that you'll need to remove to access it. Another great service to do at the same time is to remove the throttle plate 
and clean that. And I also like to remove the mass airflow sensor and use some mass airflow sensor cleaner and clean the wires on that. And then you're going to be pretty much good to go. Uh, clear your codes if you have any. And uh, you can, if you have the ability to, monitor your long-term and short-term fuel trims after that. You'll definitely notice a difference after the uh, service has been done. Should come down in line and close to zero on the uh, fuel trim uh, readings, and uh, you should be good to go. Once again, this has been the Car Doctor. Hey, thanks for watching. We appreciate the likes and subscriptions to our channel. Wish you good luck with your repairs. Have a good one.